Greetings, salutations, welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we're going to be looking at parameters. Um, so we have a folder. Doot, doot, doot. We kind of want to set up a Power Query thing that uses a specific file and then does some transformations. So the users need to select a file. So our parameter would be the file name. You can obviously do this for folder names and stuff like that. So let's quickly go to Power Query. We're going to say data, say get from file, and we're going to say from folder. I'm going to select the folder. Okay, it's this one. Cool. It's going to return all the contents from a folder. I'd say transform. So once I'm in, I know that I uh, only want my users to choose specific files. Let's say Excel file or Excel files. So I do all my filtering. And what I do know is we need to feed the folder path and the file name to the function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add a new concatenated column. We basically take the folder path and we combine that with the file name. And that's the file name path. That's it. And I'm just going to say remove the other columns. So now we have all the file names we want to uh, be in the perimeters. And I'm, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to transform this into a list. Okay. Next thing we do is we set up the parameter. We say new. I'm going to call this a file selector. And we're going to say this is text type. And the suggested value is, guess what, a query. This query is the BQ demos. Which, and I say, OK. I'll just give it L1 as a default. OK, cool. So now if we want to edit the parameter, we just go Oh, one of these files. So those are the four files that I want them to select for that. So I say, let's say file three. Cool. You can see it selected that and it kind of shows you what the current selection is. All right. Next, now I want to actually bring in the file that I want to transform. So we're going to say new file Excel workbook. And I know I'm just going to pick any one of these. Let's pick number one. And we say sheet one. Yes, go. Cool. So what we want to do is we want to kind of, if we look at the very first step, it's kind of hard coded the file name. I want to not hard code that. I'm going to refer to the file selector, which is the name of our parameter. Right there. It's going to give us this firewall uh, issue over here. That's fine. That's fine. But what I'm going to quickly, I'm just quickly going to show you how to dodge that. I'm just going to take it back to Excel. It's going to give me an error. But what we do is we go to get data, we go to query options, we go to privacy and we set this to ignore all privacy levels. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go back in peace and quiet. That error is now gone. All right, so that's cool. So now, so here's my data. All right. So now let's say I want to change it. I want to now read from file one. So you can see currently we're reading from file three. So if I want to change that, I go in. It's kind of a schlep. I don't like that much. But your user needs to go in there. Let's say file one. They choose file one. They say close and load. You refresh it. That should be everything from file one. Pretty cool. Not bad. All right. So let's do the next thing. So that's the first part of the video parameters. So now for the second part of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little table. Let's say a country table. Let's put there in country. And I'm going to put a cup, couple of country names in there. This one. I'm going to put it in a table. I want to now filter this list with these three countries. How do I do that? Let's pull this into Power Query. I say pull that into Power Query. Done. Okay, what we do is we convert this to a list. The second way that you can convert to a list is quite cool. You say table dot to list and convert it to a list. There we go. Let's call this thing um, country filter. Excellent. So now let's go to our main query. So now let's say we want to now filter the country. So I'm just going to quickly show you what the syntax is like. I'm just going to randomly select a couple of countries. Cool. So that's what we're going to do there. So what we're going to say is, 
take that out. Okay, we're going to use list contains. We're going to say list dot contain contains. Yeah. What list? So the list would be the country filter that we just created. And what are we looking at? We're saying country in this column over there. That's cool. Is equal to true. There we go. Now it's a dynamic list. So I'm just going to return this. And there we go. If I delete Fiji from here and I rerun it, it's only two. That's how I can dynamically do the filters as well. I hope this tutorial was handy. Um, it's a quick little video, just top of my head, how to do perimeters and filtering dynamically using another table. BA Sensei out.